Got my sights on you. Bring us honor, soldier. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit. Designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand bolts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. I've been after a passcode for years. Boss said no on account of my gross incompetence with all matters related to security. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of Zero-G to your memory. I used to skip rocks in the river till Constable Reyes ticketed me for unlicensed terrifying. I think she was jealous. She don't know how to skip rocks or leaves up. wanted to poke around in here.
sister. Get ready.
Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Armed strangers wandering into my camp for one. Some of my camp wandering out for another. Got anything in you besides questions? No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Can't imagine where she's gone. Hale's a wide place. Appreciate it. Honest. Over in the hothouse, tending crop. I'll tell you what I can. Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. Little ways ago, she was always obsessing over her serial dramas. Wanted to see what the fuss was about. Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. What is it? Fancy duds. Do the tubes get in your way? You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. Zoe and I were gonna watch the serials, as is our custom. She never turned up. Zoe was always obsessed with this serial. Masked marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest masked marketeer. I was gonna surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. Hey, I... Fresh off the limb.
If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobaccorn tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. A home for anyone who's ever turned their backs on Edgewater. So like the spores of the puffball, cast on the wind and alighting on fresh soil, we put down new roots. It is an unpleasant story, dear. But the short of it is that sometimes one wakes up and realizes the place that was once her home for much of her life has changed. The home in which we spent our lives has left us behind, and so we must move on. And that is as much as I will say on the subject. Reed Thompson, you here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? I can't say I blame you. Reed is positively soporific. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. A hero to the people who matter. Reed will never understand. He has been too long inebriated on the wine of corporate culture. Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down, workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. I trust you will listen to your conscience.
Oh, that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Yeah, huh? In the bar? When I asked if you were a drinker? Sorry. I know it's none of my business. It's not like I think it a failing, mind. It's just I... I live right across the road. Most nights I watch folks out my window. When they come in here, they might be happy or sad. Mostly they're tired. When they leave, they're mad at themselves. Or they stumble into the alley and I listen to their hearts breaking. Maybe so. But we don't think on it that way. If you're hungry, Stefan's got supplies. Keep your wits about you, friend. Oh, uh, didn't see you there. I was, uh... Well, I was just occupying myself with a little engineering. Whoa, huh. Miss Parvati. Huh. Hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi, 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 uh, hello. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so... Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no, I I'm just along with this fella here. Are you from town? I, I mean, you don't exactly look like you're from town. Well, what I meant was you're reasonably well-armed and don't look stricken with plague. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. I wish I knew. I wager the town had the full set once upon a time. Where the third's gone, I can't say. Would you? I'd be grateful. What's... Luck, mostly. Nothing's needed serious repairing yet. Oh, I can swap out a water filter or charge up a battery and go on pretending I know what I'm doing.
nice. I don't know anybody who ever came out this far. Want what? Adrena time? Yeah, yeah, I'll get you some. Wow, you crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. What, you mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature-loving nobodies? I could not possibly be less interested in them. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. I'm great at clarifying. I don't know. 
The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, you mean around these guys? The marauders wouldn't hurt me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, must be my natural charisma. I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but yeah, I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. Uh, no? I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find? But a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. I've got all the time and... Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, or what? You know, you make a very convincing point. This place was getting dull anyhow. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me, so I've got that to look forward to.
for this. Clever. 